Grip strength is often a limiting factor in achieving progression in many sports and activities, and a lack of it can hold you back in gaining strength and unlocking several sought after moves and holds. But not only that, it's also a good predictor of good health and longevity. Join me today as I delve in a little further and give you my tips on what you can do to improve your grip strength. Grip strength is the force applied by the hand to pull on or suspend from objects. Muscles of the hand and the forearms primarily give you the strength to grip, so keeping these muscles strong is important in keeping good grip strength. And grip strength in itself has many forms. Its application varies across a number of sports including climbing, gymnastics, Olympic lifting and many others. Some activities require you to grip as hard as possible to an object. Some need a more fluid and changeable grip in order to allow for movement. As is the case for most things fitness, there is a certain amount of carryover from one requirement to the next. But if you have a specific goal, it's best to be specific in your training. And we'll look at some specifics later in the video, but something else of interest emerges on the subject of grip strength and that is its link to health and longevity. Several studies show that people who possess more grip strength are less likely to develop adverse health effects such as obesity and cardiovascular disease, which is interesting reading, but does that mean by improving your grip strength you can add years to your life? Quite possibly, and I will look at this a little bit later on. But even if that's not the case, improving your grip strength can benefit you in many other ways, and this simple exercise and its variations are a good way to do that. Hanging from a bar by way of a dead hang where you allow gravity to do its thing as you relax the rest of the body, or with an active hang which involves active engagement of the upper back muscles, are both excellent ways to start improving your grip. The dead hang can stretch tonic postural muscles and improve mobility at the shoulder joint, and the active hang will target those all important, often neglected shoulder girdle depressors. Grips on the bar can be wide, neutral or narrow, with palms facing in or even facing out. You can do it on a thick bar or thinner bars, using an overhand or underhand grip and you can use other more grip challenging objects to hang from and it doesn't even have to be with straight arms. If endurance is your goal then aim for sets of 45 to 60 seconds plus. For pure strength you may need to add weight or opt for single arm work. If you need to bridge the gap between two arms and one, try using bands for assistance or drills using offset grips. Needless to say, there's lots of options when it comes to hanging. It's simple to set up, straightforward to do, lots of different ways to spice up how you hang. Many ways to make hanging more interesting, but if you're looking for variety when it comes to grip training, well then it just comes down to your creativity. The world can be your playground. In recent years, I've found great joy in Ninja Warrior workouts and obstacle training. And it's been these sorts of activities that's seen massive improvements in my grip. I now see obstacles and look for ways to overcome them. But if this all seems a bit risque for you right now, the monkey bars could be a natural entry point. There are numerous monkey bar techniques with each demanding different grip requirements. Make sure you check out my monkey bar tutorials to help you get started. But you don't have to stop at monkey bars. Grip training doesn't have to be boring and it might yet just save your life. Can grip training save your life? I think it would be accepted to believe that it's more correlation rather than causation. Active people have more active muscles than non-active people, and that includes the muscles we need to grip. Lots of activities require the ability to grip, so whilst grip strength is important for the activities that I enjoy doing, maybe the thing that's more likely to save your life is finding an activity that you enjoy doing. I guess when it comes to grip training, as with most training, your training choices will be informed by what your goal is. 
if you're looking to improve grip for a sport or an activity, then you should be mindful of what type of grip those sports or activities demand. What are the objects that you'll be working with like and what grips will be needed? If it's general grip and general health, then you can't go far wrong with dead hangs. As simple or as fancy as you'd like. But of course, if you're asking me for my personal opinion, I'd say, don't discount the monkey bars. So don't forget to check out my tutorials for more.